last week's video. Today is the day we're finally gonna do it! We're gonna film my favorite ever video. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about how we met all the way until the beginning of our relationship, which is about two months worth of time. The first time we met was actually on the very, very first day of school. <gasps> Wait! You tell the story. The first thing you ever said to me. So basically we had to sit in the room and we were divided into groups. They wanted everyone to have a little name tag with their name on it and the instrument that, they, that you play. So they wanted to divide the groups equally. I still have it! I got my name tag, but I wasn't sure if I had to write both my name and my instrument or only my name or only my instrument. So she was sitting behind me and I heard her talking in Dutch to someone else. And so I just turned around and I said, hey, uh, I only have to write my name or also my instrument. So you had to have one type of instrument in every group. I was sitting with Steffi and Papillon. Both of those people played violin, so I couldn't be in a group with any of them. Since he had just spoken to me, I thought I'll go in a group with him, but Papillon was quicker. But we were almost in the same group for the very, very first week project that we had to do. But I think it's good that we weren't in the same group. Yeah, probably. Because we saw each other a lot after that. I actually have a video of us sitting in the cafeteria and I didn't even realize that Connor was in the video as well. Like I couldn't remember that he was there as well, sorry. <laughs> but he was there and I was just watching my old Snapchat videos and I saw that I was like, hey wait, that's him! <laughs> but that was like half a year into dating, so you know. Hello. I went through Snapchat memories, my camera roll and our WhatsApp conversation of two months. I spent hours, hours reading our old conversations because we texted an insane amount. Yep. So, we did see each other again a lot because we were in the same theory group. So we have two theory classes a week at that point. We were together in both of those because it's the same room for those. Somehow they were really obsessed with improvisation. Yeah. So we had to improvise in our very first theory lesson, which was the second week of school. And we had to do that in duos, and we had to do it together. The teacher just randomly pointed to us. And so we both got our scales and we just looked at each other to signify when to start playing. So we just briefly looked into each other's eyes. And we didn't stop. <laughs> and we didn't stop looking into each other's eyes until the improvisation was done. And then afterwards I heard that she went home to her parents and- Yo, come on! Oh, this weird Belgian guy was, was constantly staring at me during the lesson. <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. But it was actually really cool because there was a connection whilst we were playing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was really cool. I mean, we were also just rhythmically, everything was just perfect. We were really kind of playing together right from the start, which isn't something that happens a lot. Often it takes time to, to get to know someone and then you can kind of start to predict, okay, when this happens, the person will take a bit more time or whatever, but with us it was just right from the start, I think, yeah. And then the interesting thing is, the lessons continued, but I think the week after, they said the other theory groups didn't have enough students, and our group had too many students, so a couple of students had to be moved, and I immediately volunteered, because the other hours would, would suit me a bit better as well. So I was the first one to volunteer, but they didn't pick me to move. I told you not to go. Very weird. Yeah, I don't know why. She told me not to go, but then I just... Like third lesson that we saw each other. Yeah, for some weird reason they just ignored my request. I think they really regretted that decision. <laughs> because I have a feeling that the theory teachers did not specifically like it when we started dating. When was it? The second or third lesson that I asked for your phone number? I think second. It was really early. Let I was just me. sitting there in the lesson, just enjoying life. And then all of a sudden, she just kind of poked my arm and said, Hey, can I get your number? I can add you to a WhatsApp group of Dutch-speaking people in school. Okay, can I just so say, I already she, had that group. She only knew me two weeks at that point, and she already asked for a number. And it's a, a very nice subject to tease her on. But he always uses like this weird voice in which I asked him, which was not true! He was the only Dutch-speaking person in the group that I didn't know. I genuinely just wanted his phone number to add him into that group chat, and I did. The funny thing is, he gave me his phone number. I still have the paper on which he wrote the number because it was in my theory book somewhere. I didn't even add his phone number into my phone until the next lesson. Now we have each other's phone numbers, and that's where everything breaks loose. From the moment we started texting, we didn't stop. Hey! One of the main first things we talked about was playing together, but actually with Viola as well. It was a really cool conversation because we talked about 
playing something with viola, violin and piano. Then he asked if there was also some nice pieces for violin and piano. I think he now regrets asking that. Very much, because <laughs> now I'm playing a quite difficult piece in their exam next week and I'm not ready. By the time this video comes out, it's gonna be yesterday. Then, he wanted to do something more jazzy, because I'd actually done a live stream in which I sang Can't Take My Eyes Off Of You. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. I love you, baby. And if it's quite alright. So I said, well, if we're gonna do something jazzy, maybe we can do something piano, singing, something like that. And then he brought up a seaboard. So the day after that, I released a cover of a French song. And he texted me saying that that was a really cool cover and so I asked him if he wanted to do a cover with me together and that was the start of everything. I think we've already like named five things which were apparently the start of everything. I think the first day of school was the start of everything yeah. but <laughs> by now we're on the 25th of September. So two days after that I asked him if he wanted to play in my band which guess what he did! Not even a day after that he invited me for our first concert, classical concert together on the 5th of January and I read our text back and we were talking like oh we're gonna be stuck with each other for so long because there's gonna be a songwriting session of three days and then I was gonna spend the night at his, his parents place because we had a concert there and we were just gonna be stuck with each other for a long time little did we know that we would almost be one month into dating by that point <laughs> I'm not really sure if that's the exact first date we're now at 28th of September but in our text messages the first time I could read something back was the 30th of September which was him inviting me for tea yeah I just said if she had ever wanted tea or anything else she could always drop by because we were living quite close together almost in the same street i moved guys sorry in any case that first invite for tea turned out to be one of many invites because our friendship was established through a lot of talking with a lot of tea at some point the tea just vanished yeah, we would invite each other for tea and forget about the tea forget about the tea and just talk <laughs> listen to music yeah that's what we did a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot about three days later, the 3rd of October, I was at home at my parents' place because I was insanely sick and I had to get better like within two days because I had to go on TV <laughs> and I had to sing and play violin. So it was a terrible position for me to be in. But he went to this jazz session that were with students. Yeah, 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 students of the school. And he invited me wow. for one of those. We're not there yet that we actually went. That took quite a long time after the invite. So I had this period of time that I would screenshot chat messages and then post it on my WhatsApp story. But you made a comment about something and I posted only true friends would send you this, something like that. And he said that I was friend zoning him. As a joke, I might add, she was just a friend at that point. I didn't think anything more about her than just friends. And so I just made that joke. I didn't know that. Okay. It was a very stressful situation for me. I wanted to be friends, but I didn't want to like limit the options in which our relationship could grow in, you know? You said more than friends is also just friends, isn't it? But that's true, right? It's true, yeah. It, the best relationships start from a good friendship. That's true. That's oh. also exactly the moment that I knew something was up, even though I very much just meant it as a joke. That was the 12th of October. Then a friend of mine came to visit, and so I really wanted to do something with a couple of friends. So we went out bowling on the 17th of October and I invited another student from the conservatory as well Our very 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 talented horn player and that bowling experience was a cool experience You had those rails the side Of course I had those I cannot bowl okay and I need to make some points otherwise I'll just feel sorry for myself <laughs> When we went bowling She held my hand Oh come on! I think that's the first thing we did out of our homes or school. What did you think of the bowling experience? It was nice. Yeah? It was nice. So yesterday I asked him about what were high points in our friendship that led to a relationship. I was doing a Bible study group in the city that we study in. One evening I had to go there and then she asked me where I went, I think, or something like that. And I just kind of explained that I was doing this Bible study group on Monday evenings. And a very positive surprise was that she reacted normally and just very chill, as if it was the, the most like normal thing in the world. Not that the reaction should have been different, but I just expected some, like a very weirded out reaction like I would get from most other people yeah, of my age that I know. Fast forward a little bit, we're on the 24th of October, which was the day we actually shot Chasing Pavements, the cover. Should I give up or should I just keep chasing pavements? Even if it leads nowhere, or would it be a waste? Even if I knew my place, should I leave it there? The first cover we ever 
never did together. That was an interesting evening. And it ended up with him staying until 5 a.m. The reason he stayed until 5 a.m. was because we actually started shooting the video quite late. Because I have a video of us playing around with the seaboard at 11.30 at night and we didn't even start shooting at that point. I just love that video. When that was finally done, Steffi was there as well because she was in charge of cameras. She shot the video and then we wanted to watch a movie and he was still there so he just watched it with us. And then we started a very deep conversation, Steffi and I. You were listening to a Rahmani of Piano Concerto on your phone. <laughs> Doing something else. Sitting there on the couch with those two girls. I remember he left and the first thing Steffi asked me was, I thought you didn't like him. What's going on? I said I'm not really sure anymore. <laughs> and we kept on talking until 7.30 in the morning, Just Steffi and I. Two days later, I went to a concert of Crescent. The reason why that's so important for me is because I went with my mom's best friend. And it was a very fun experience, but she already knew something was gonna happen between us two. And then the main event of that evening was when I was at home. I was brushing my teeth, trying to get ready for bed at my parents' place. And my mom walks past me and she just randomly out of nowhere says, you like him, don't you? But you just don't want to admit so. I was just brushing my teeth. I almost choked. I was like, wait, how does she know this? I did not say anything to anyone about this. Around that time, by the way, we were texting so much that we were literally counting down the hours and minutes until we would see each other again. It was so cute. Fast forward four days. The 30th of October was emotionally a very heavy day for me. I was struggling with a lot of things at that point. I changed a lot in those first few months and I lived on my own but I was having a very emotional day and this guy comes by two times to make sure that I'm alright the first time he actually stayed for property we just talked about everything that was going on and he showed me the song of Jacob Collier time to rest your weary head it's just a very calm relaxing song since that day that song just kind of became the song that I listen to when life is not working out the way I thought it was gonna be <laughs> fast forward most people meet each other's parents after they've been dating for quite a while An official meeting thing, dinner, you know, something. We did a photo shoot early before that because we needed a proper photo for the posters of the 5th of January concert. I met his parents on the 2nd of November. <laughs> Fast forward again, four days, we actually went to the jazz session! A proper full month after he asked me to go to a jazz session. We actually went to a jazz session together. I was not feeling at home. My first time there, I was like, what am I doing here? I actually made him bread because he hadn't eaten. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. And then we were in there and he put his arm around me and it just made me feel like I was, I belonged there and I don't know why, it just... This is my home. <laughs> it's just a very calming feeling to have if you're... My destiny. If you're in a place that you don't know, and then someone puts his arm around you, of the right type of person, it just felt really good. Well, welcome to the puppet show, guys. <laughs> what I think, it was nice. It was a nice evening, and I always enjoy jazz. It was also quite warm because she was standing as close to me as she could. I was actually like standing very It was also very, very packed with people. There was like no breathing space. We were just like stuffed in a corner somewhere. But yeah, it was nice. Then, the 11th of November, by that time I spotted some mice in my apartment. <laughs> The very funny thing about it was that every time I would text him saying, I'm seeing mice, and then when he came over, they weren't there! So he said, maybe you're just making up an excuse for me to come visit you. Which wasn't true. 11th of November, he came to help me. Yeah, I cut some wood. <laughs> <laughs> help me set the trap. And we actually ended up playing with a roll of tape. We were independent adults at that point and we were handling the situation in a very mature way. Okay, so anyway, that was that. And the next day was... The 12th. He made me That's burgers! That's where <laughs> It was the beginning of our relationship. He made me a burger. And then we watched a movie. And it was the beginning of the relationship. My final question for you is... For you? No, for you. Oh. <laughs>
How did you tell your parents? How did I tell my parents? We were attending a concert one evening and we were like half an hour early. So we were just sitting in the car and there was silence. And then I just thought this is the perfect moment to talk about it. And I just said, what would you guys think if Maite and I would become more than friends? Just out of the blue, no introduction to it. And just addressed it for what it was. Had a small conversation with my parents about it and that's it. But they already met me as well. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. knew who I was. Yeah, they had also heard a lot about you. Oh, they knew for a while that something was up. I actually didn't tell my parents. Yeah, I actually didn't. We were talking because by that time I've been invited to play at a concert in England. And so I asked him if he wanted to play with me. I think we were talking about what we were going to play and stuff. That conversation lasted a very long time. I was in a bar with my mum and a friend of hers because I had just performed somewhere and we were just talking on the phone for a very long time. And I finally came back to the table and my mum said, When are you finally going to be dating? And I said, well, we started last Wednesday. <laughs> And she was like, wait, really? Are you, are you serious? She was so happy. <laughs> but then again, my dad didn't know it just yet. We were home later that evening. My mom was taking a shower and my dad was going upstairs to my mom to tease her about something. And my mom thought, well, this is the perfect time for me to tease my dad back. As he was walking out, feeling very good about himself, my mom shouted, your oldest daughter has a boyfriend. And he ran downstairs. Who is the new boyfriend? What do his parents do? And that's how my parents found out. And I'm still alive. So, um, yeah, that's our very long story of uh, how we met, became friends, and started dating. I was very excited about this video, guys. I'm still very, very happy now. <laughs> so if you have a comment, leave it there, down below, because I'm going gonna... <laughs> to... Leave it. Just leave it. Just don't comment at all. No, please do comment. I love reading the comments. They make me happy. Just leave it down below. If you like this a tenth of how much I like filming this video, please make sure to give it a like. <laughs> We'll try again, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we met part two, same story, different setting. <laughs> I'll see you all next week for another vlog video where I'm gonna sit down and tell you a lot of things because there has been a lot of rumors. See you all next week. Bye!